Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about a problem that is related to state space analysis. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. The problem is obtain the state space representation of the network shown below. So we have a network over here in that we have a resistance which is marked as R, inductance which is marked as L and a capacitance which is C. And we have a source voltage that is denoted as Vs and output voltage that is V0. Then current through this circuit that is denoted as I of T. So first we can solve this problem that is solution. First we can write KVL. We can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law. So applying KVL to this circuit we will get Vs our source voltage is equal to Ri of T plus L Di by DT plus 1 by C integral I of T DT. This is our first equation that is we have resistance voltage is equal to here voltage is equal to resistance into current. And for inductance that is L di by dt and for capacitance it is 1 by c into integral i of t dt. Then Vc that is the uh, voltage across capacitor. So we have capacitor over here and the voltage across that capacitor is denoted as Vc. So Vc will be equal to 1 by C integral I of T dt. That is here we have Vc and this is L di by dt that is voltage across inductor, voltage across capacitor and voltage across resistance is equal to the source voltage. So this one we can mark it as equation number 2. Then we can substitute equation 2 in equation number 1. So that is Vs is equal to Ri of T plus L Di by DT plus instead of this 1 by C integral I of T DT we can represent it as Vc. And Vs is equal to R i this is i of t we can write it as r i plus l di by dt plus v c then we can rearrange this equation that is l di by dt will be equal to v s minus v c minus r i so therefore di by dt will be equal to Vs by L. This L will come to this side. So it will become Vs by L minus Vc by L minus R by L into I. This is equation number 3. Then we in this state space representation we will take state variables. So here the state variables are denoted as x1, x2. x1 is equal to i because we are taking the current as one variable. So that is x1 is equal to i and x2 is equal to vc. That is we are taking the voltage across the capacitance. So xi equal to i means x sorry x1 is equal to i means x1 dot that is the differential of x1 which will be equal to di by dt 
and x2 dot will be equal to x2 dot means differential of x2 that is differential of vc vc means we know that it is 1 by c integral i of t dt so 1 by c is constant so 1 by c into integral and differential will come and integral i of t dt that is i of t dt i is equal to xi so integral x1 dt integral and derivative that will get cancelled so we will get x1 so this can be represented as equation number 6 so we have got x1 and x2 and x1 dot and x2 dot then we have to find the output equation so output equation y y is equal to that is a voltage across the resistance output equation we can consider the voltage across resistance so y is equal to i into r which is equal to i is equal to x1 so x1 into r this is your equation number 7 so we can write the state variables as x1 dot x2 dot this will be equal to x1 dot is x1 dot here it is x1 dot is di by dt di by dt is vs by l minus vc by l minus r by l into i where i is equal to x1 so here this equation we can write it as x1 dot is equal to di by dt which means vs by l minus vc by l minus r by l into i is x1 so x1 x2 dot will be equal to 1 by c into x1 and in x1 dot you can see that x1 dot is equal to vs by l then minus vc by l minus r by l into x1 then vc vc means it is 1 by vc means you are x2 so instead of this uh, vc you can write it as x2 so x1 dot again you can rewrite it as first you can write x1 term that is minus r by l into x1 next is vc means it is x2 so minus 1 by l into x2 so x1 term is there x2 term is there and next is plus vs by l so this is your x1 dot and this is your x2 dot so this you have to be careful and here you can write x1 dot will be equal to this is your x1 x1 term is here you have minus r by l and x2 term is minus 1 by l into x1 x2 then for x2 dot you have 1 by c into x1 x2 dot means 1 by c into x1 so 1 by c into x1 x2 term there is no term so you can write it as 0 plus in x1 dot you have constant that is vs by l so here you can write it as vs by l and in x2 dot there is no constant term so you can write it as 0 next is your y y will be equal to here you have x1 into r so x1 term it is r and x2 term you don't have any term so that is 0 and r and 0 into x1 x2 so this will be your y that is your output equation and this is your state variables 
equation. So this is the way which we have to find the state space representation of the given network. Hope this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful, please share it with others and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.